So now I want to show you how to build the wheel bit. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mount the servo and the wheel. Now this is already mounted. So what I do is that I put the wheel on, make sure that it's firmly placed here. Don't turn it too much. Then I have this little screw here. Place this inside here. And then start turning. So what you want to have is one of these screwdriver, small screwdriver. Now turn it. I hold the wheel, making sure that it doesn't go around, and just tighten slightly. So now all the components are basically ready. So if you don't have this already mounted, please check out the video on how to mount the Wonderkit card and the micro bit. So what you see is that I have all these here mounted. I have these white screws here. These are also already mounted. So what I do is that I start with this one. This is actually the bottom side. So I start from here. Placing it. And then I use these small, small nuts. And then making sure to enter them precisely. So I actually go a little bit uh, counterclockwise before I start turning them clockwise. So now these are firmly mounted. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mount the servos. But I start with this one, then I take the rubber band, move it around the servo. So this can be a little bit tricky, but just make sure that you get the rubber band on to the other side and then you can, then you can change things afterwards. It doesn't really matter as long as it's as long as it's placed here, then it's okay. Then you're okay. Okay, good. Then I start with this cable, turn it around this arm. And let's see how far I can come. I think this is as far as we are willing to go today. And then I'm making sure that the yellow one are facing upwards to this side. The yellow wire are facing upwards. And then I'm making sure that I hit all the three connectors. Then just push it in. So now this side is mounted. Then I'm going to take the other side. Same procedure. So now this one is mounted. Then I start turning the wire around the arm so now it's firmly tight and then the yellow one up and the brown down move it into the card so now the servos on both sides are correctly mounted and now it's time to do the rubber band for the battery you can actually turn this one around one more time i think that's okay. So I place this one around here. Then I turn it 180 degrees before mounting it here. Okay, good. Now this one is done. And now it's time for the marble. This one. So I'm going to take these two parts here. These are the marble holders. Place them together like this. Place the marble inside. Turn it upside down. Push it down and turn 90 degrees. Now when I do this, I, would I want to have my arm here and my arm here and turn. Good. So now it's basically ready for driving. The only thing I need to mount is the battery. So I find out that the plug is here. So that means that 
the wire should be on that side. And then just place the battery. And then it's okay to go. So the next thing I want to do is that I want to uh, make the, the uh, football, football uh, arms ready. Okay, so I'm going to start with one of these. Take the take the nut, uh, take the screw there through here. Then I have one of these arms. Place this one on top of that. Place that one. Place the spacer. And then we have the last arm. Doesn't matter if they are uh, fitted correctly right now. And then I try to screw them together so they don't fall apart. And this side is done, and then we take the other side. Good. So now it's ready to mount on the wheel bit. So these arms here. These are for mounting. Turn it upside down. And then I use this rubber band here. Just pull it up slightly. And then place it underneath. And same thing on the other side. So now we are ready to go. So there we are, finished and ready for use.